Even today, with all the science and technology at our fingertips, there are still mysteries that remain unsolved and treasures that remain lost around our world. Today, let's shine a light on the lost treasure of La Noche Triste, the Night of Sorrows. The early 1500s was a tense time in Mexico. The Spanish conquistadors under Hernán Cortés had moved into the Aztec capital Tenochtitlan, the mighty city built in the middle of Lake Texacoco. To try and force the Aztecs' cooperation, they took their king, Moctezuma, captive, forcing him to assure his people that everything was fine. The people were not buying it. News reached Cortes of a Spanish force sent from Cuba to arrest him for insubordination. Not willing to wait around, Cortes left Tenochtitlan, intercepted the force, and defeated it. However, his absence gave the Aztecs the chance they needed. Cortes had left his lieutenant, Pedro de Alvarado, in charge of Tenochtitlan. A rumor of an attack by the Aztecs reached Alvarado, so he decided on a preemptive attack slaughtering a number of Aztec nobles and priests during a ceremony at the city's main temple. Enraged, the Aztecs laid siege to the compound the Spanish were held up in with their hostage king, Moctezuma. That was the situation that Cortes discovered when he returned. Cortes had Moctezuma try to calm his people, but the Aztecs attacked anyway. Moctezuma was killed in the violence, though reports conflict as to whether it was the Spanish or the Aztecs who did it. Knowing they needed to escape, the Spanish prepared to leave, grabbing all of the gold and riches they could carry, by some estimates thousands of pounds of loot. The conquistadors made their way through the city under the cover of a rainstorm. Their only chance was to make for one of the causeways that connect the capital with the mainland. The Spanish were discovered by the Eagle Warriors, a kind of Aztec special forces. A mighty battle ensued, during which many of the Spanish fell into the lake. Weighed down by their stolen gold, the soldiers drowned in the murky darkness of Lake Texcoco. Cortes would eventually escape with his life, but the Spanish losses were immense. He also lost all the treasure he sought to steal. Today, most of what was Lake Texcoco is gone, drained to make way for the land that today's Mexico City now stands on. Also gone is the Aztec treasure that cost the lives of so many. Perhaps some of it was recovered by the Aztecs, but it's very likely that much of it remains buried, waiting to be unearthed.